my first car was a Camaro in 67, so you know, I, I know what the car is and what it was and what it stands for, but you know, the nice thing about this car is um, in all forms of the Camaro, it's still very accessible for a lot of people and still, you know, relatively high performance in some, uh, you know, some, some base models like the 2 liter that we're going to do and the 1 LE V6. But the ZL1 are, are just incredible performance cars and the value piece of that for the money, I think that's at the heart of Camaro. No matter what the horsepower was or what it is, that value equation of performance and style and satisfaction and happiness that you get with the car hasn't really changed. Oh man, this car is really going to stick out of the track. We've done a lot of a lot of work to get that lift out of the car, produce some good downpour, so that corner acceleration should be phenomenal. And we've done a lot of things to improve that grip. We have that massive front splitter. We also have a lot of underbody content you can't see, but we're actually it's it really helps that car really adhere to that surface once going around a corner. So it's really great for track performance. So it's a really balanced vehicle, and I think the, the, the drivers really feel that balance when they get the car on track. This car is such a serious car now um, that we really wanted to continue that story on the interior. And with this, it's, it's all black. Uh, it's got red accents on the stitching. It's an accent. Rather than being these big, giant pieces of red, it's, it's an accent to the all black, very serious interior. This car will be, it will attract a wide variety of people, right? So sports car enthusiasts who might be looking at other luxury exotics to the more traditional muscle car guy, right? Because it does a lot of things well. It does the, does the drag race well, does road course well. It's a, you know, it's a comfortable car to drive. So all, it's a mixed bag of everything you'd ever want.